Recording in progress. All right, finally we're joined by Satu Sabli. We'll start in the room and make our way over to Zoom. Gorgeous Go ahead, Isaac. dress, Satu. That's a gorgeous dress. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Um, just talk about the game that last play. Just didn't go in. Great look. Just. Yeah, I mean, I treat it like every other shot. Obviously, I need to make that, but um, I'll make that next one. Yeah. You guys still control your destiny. Uh, Friday, mm -hmm. storm come in. Just talk about how you plan to just shift mindset and move to. Uh, Get ready for Friday. Um, I think we can, you know, go into the next game really even even though we lost in the high. Um, I think we did a good job today. We really mm -hmm. fought and we showed character. Mm -hmm. So that is really what I see from this game and that is what we will carry on to the next game. Um, Seattle is good, so we'll prepare for them just like any other game and um, we'll we'll get that next win. Thank you. So to uh, not trying to get you fined or anything, but when the game so comes down to So why are you asking the question? Like, all like that, <laughs> because there's no comment. <laughs> mm, I mean, what's the question? No, the this last, was just really The last comment, do you think, do you foul her or no? What do you think? Hmm. Um, yeah, I, obviously a walk started tonight, and I just wanted to ask, because obviously you've gotten to see her development mm -hmm. the entire time she's been here. Um, you know, what do you think maybe stands out to you most about where she's at now and what she's been able to show over the last month and from where she first came in. I mean, when you look, when you look at her, you just, she could be in college right now, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, she's amazing. She is just such a talented player, long, um, did a, does a great job on someone like Stewie, you know, and she's still learning. And I think that her minutes now are really going to show in the playoffs. Now she's getting those um, touches on offense. She's catching the ball better, you know, than in the beginning mm -hmm. of the season. And I think her confidence is really going to shine on the court, and her confidence um, will come the, the more minutes she will play and the more chances she will get. But kudos to her. You know, she's super young and um, developing into a young professional lady um, at such a great pace and learns so much, works hard in the gym. Um, really great person and teammate. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, too, obviously, your sister is here tonight, but um, I heard that the TCU coach. Mm -hmm. uh, Coach Campbell, yeah, was here tonight mm -hmm. as well. Uh, yeah. Just what's your thoughts on seeing him and mm -hmm. um, just after the game? Yeah, as far as we'll brag on the family too. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Like Younger everyone was here today. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Incarnate, well, incarnate, incarnate word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. incarnate it's a special word. night for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm super blessed to be able to have two family, really four family members. Especially you know not being from America, I feel like sometimes it can get really isolating and just having a sister and a brother there uh, today, two cousins, like, it's just amazing. Having someone in my corner, like Mark Campbell, who has guided me, you know, throughout my professional career, but also in college at TCU is just also great because um, he's building a program here in, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and I'm super excited to see how that grows because he's really great at just, um, you know, putting young women first and really developing their game. So I'm excited to see what they're going to do this year. But I don't know if we should be rooting for UTA since we're in the arena. <laughs> but I'll root for TCU. <laughs> and then, obviously, he <clears throat> recruited you um, at Oregon. Mm -hmm. Has he asked you to help recruit some players at TCU now that y'all are in the same Metroplex? Um, no, not really. I don't even know if he would be allowed to do that. Okay. I, I'm not too sure. But he hasn't done that yet. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, we'll jump I'll over to Zoom. <laughs> Andy, go ahead. Hey, Satsu. Uh, I thought you and the team played a terrific game tonight. Um, uh, one of the storylines is going to be Stewie's breaking the single uh, season scoring record. But the thing is, she had trouble guarding you. Um, do you guys see her as vulnerable on defense? Is she trying to stay out of foul trouble? Uh, to describe someone like Stewie as vulnerable is bold. <laughs> I wouldn't do that at all. Gotcha. Okay. Rafik? Yeah, you managed to put up points in many different ways, including fast break layups coming off the seals. Like, how much, how important will that be going to the next game because the Seattle Storm has to look to lock up on courts? What how was the question? How important are the transition points you're able to get out and get in like That we get on forward. offense? You specifically, but oh, you, uh, uh, very forward. important. Yeah, it it shows when we get that stop and we, when we can just outlet that ball super quick and we have these long passes then our offense you know is really efficient within seconds and we have a r high finishing rate so that's really important but we 
that is something as, that comes as a re out of a result from our defensive game. So just locking in on there, and then that will come. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Satu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.